From the day he kicked off his primary campaign, Romney was the front runner. His issue, the economy. His target, not his Republican challengers, but President Obama. Barack Obama has failed America. There were some stumbles and a big loss to Newt Gingrich in South Carolina, as Romney struggled with Republicans skeptical of his conservative credentials. But the nomination fight showed he was willing to do what it took to win, a trade he's going to need in what everyone agrees will be a nasty and expensive general election. Today, Romney kept his focus on jobs, calling the president a jobs destroyer. I'm not going to forget middle class families. They're asking themselves, why is it that three and a half years after this president got elected, we're still in a tough economy like this. And tonight he's raising money, appearing at a fundraiser with Gingrich and big talking billionaire Donald Trump, who endorsed Romney early in the primaries. But Romney also has to navigate some difficult terrain. Trump's an expert at stirring controversy and in the last week has started to again question President Obama's birth certificate, an issue that for most people has been widely discredited. The Obama campaign urged Romney to disavow Trump, but Romney, who has said he accepts the president's birth certificate, told reporters he's glad for Trump's support. I don't agree with all the people who support me, and my guess is they don't all agree with everything I, I believe in, but I need to get 50.1 percent or more, and I'm uh, appreciative to have the help of a lot of good people. Now, for the next three months, up until the Republican convention, Romney will keep up the fundraising, and his campaign's going to be rolling out these weekly themes attacking the president on the economy. And, of course, Scott, he's also got to settle on a vice presidential candidate. Thank you, Jen.